Welcome to Normal World. It is our one hundredth yeah. episode. Oh yeah. Which means one of our g- not well guests, I guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> well now, one of our listeners is going to get one hundred dollars. Oh man. All they have to do is send a dick pic to Garrett's phone. And we're going to go ahead and put that number out at the end of the episode. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a delayed response. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get them later. I'll get them later. I'll say it's fine. Hey, Angela. Mm. What's up? Uh, nothing. 100 episodes. Yeah. Hey. Yep. I'm so glad that we have this huge uh, celebration planned. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I completely remembered up until just before the show started, yeah. and there happened to be a hundred dollar bill here. <laughs> like, hey, hundred dollars. It's also counterfeit. It's not real. No, nobody's winning anything. I'm not giving you Garrett's real number. No, it's gonna go to someone I don't like. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's good to be here, though. Hey, look, it's a hundred episodes. Right, we got Matt McClowry here it's with our, us. Yes, welcome, Matt McClowry. You can see him oh. this weekend with me. Yes, that show's gonna be. Awesome. Yes, it's going to be at right. Hyenas in Fort Worth at the Red Room. Isn't that mm-hmm. right, Matt? Mm-hmm. It will be. And welcome. You can celebrate 100 episodes and seven sketches. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like we intended. Exactly. As it was intended. The whole exactly time. as it was pitched. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Very exciting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And also... 12 good episodes. <laughs> <laughs> if you combine. Yeah, yeah. yeah not, not parts, of, parts of them. Not in a row. Also yeah. today, joining us, the host of $20 Chef, comedian. Please welcome, Sean Latham. Woo! Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate oh, oh, you having oh. me here. And you can see him at these upcoming events. We got there. This right. is where any, I any discussed second, right. pulling up. There, there we go. <laughs> All right. Where, where are you going to be, my friend? I got uh, Flappers coming up in uh, Burbank there with my buddy Martin Moreno. And I'll be on the road with Ismo for, uh, for some shows coming up in Dallas and San, San Antonio. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. And there you go. And then also you can catch me April 19th and 20th at the Tacoma Comedy Club. Very sexy. Oh, nice. I'll be there. <laughs> you look great. Yes, and Matt will be there. You work yeah. out? I do, yeah. That actually is Matt. Mm-hmm. Oh. And uh, that would be believable. <laughs> and also, my special is now available at Comedy Genius, comedy, G-E-N-I dot U-S. And you can get 50% off with the code Dave Landau. And oh. don't don't worry about pulling up that pick. We're two for three. Oh. <laughs> uh, you get uh, 80% off if you put in r- code Raw Dog. Yes. Uh, actually, with Matt, you might. Raw Dog mm. City. <laughs> Raw Dog City Tacoma. <laughs> Which might be true. There's a lot of there's tents there now. Have you noticed? Uh, yeah, there's tents everywhere, man. Yeah, I've walked by people, groups of people in a car, and I'm like, should I do something or just let them die? Well, that was the last time we were there, yeah. and then two days th- later they were still there. Mm-hmm. And then we told somebody, and they didn't care. Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah, that happens. I think yeah. if they would move to the camouflage tent, you know, or the or the camouflage tarp, it would really help the situation out. You know, get yeah. rid of the blue. It's too much of an yeah. eyesore. I agree. That's I agree. not homeless. That's stealth camping. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, it's, it's like uh, it's, it's inner city camping. Yeah, if you're gonna, it's be not a... even that they're dead at that point. They're just illegally parked. Well, that's true. If you're in the car, it's just I'd like to park, and you're mm-hmm. dead. Mm-hmm. If you're on a hill, I don't care what's going on in there. Bring the camo tent. <laughs> I've always said that. Yeah, I yeah. I've always known you to say that, and we just met. I know you've heard me say it like eight times today. Yeah, I'm like if you're gonna be homeless, okay, no, buy, I was... <laughs> buy a camo tent already <laughs> to shoot up in. You just bring them to the shows and hand them out. Camo yeah, tent? I'm like, listen, camo guys, tent. Camo, camo tent, come to the show. Oh. They're giving out free tickets because they just won't wait until people yeah. buy them. I remember one time me and some of our friends were trying to do a show in downtown Detroit before it was cool, you know, and we were barking and there was nobody out there because the hipsters hadn't gotten into it yet. But there was a homeless guy and we were like, hey, do you want to come inside and see a free comedy show? It's 20 below and raining. And he's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> it always makes you feel good when a I'm guy's good. like, I'd rather be homeless. <laughs> and freezing outside. I always like when people come into a show, uh, that was probably, what, 15 years ago in Detroit, where they come in and it's like, yeah, it's just two, you got to buy two drinks. or It's like two drink, two drink minimum. Mm-hmm. And they come in and they're like, they get a bill and they're like, I thought I'd get two drinks minimum. <laughs> yeah. You're like, so you thought me. you'd get a free, you thought the comedy show was such torture. Yeah. That you got two drinks at least just to be inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, thanks. 
Wow. And now comedy's been epidemic. So, Lyft, speaking of, many people take them to shows. You've heard of Lyft. Mm -hmm. it's an, uh, there's a new feature called uh, Women Plus or Lyft Plus. Uh, it's Lyft Plus what? Connect, which increases riders' chances of matching with a woman and non-binary riders. And they paid a dude dressed as a chick to promote it. Wow. Women Plus Connect offers more choice, opportunity, and peace of mind for women and non-binary riders and drivers. Human rights campaign statement on the website said Women Plus Connect was built with intent, intent to make rideshare better. So when I think women. peace of mind, I think lift. Yes. Well, I think any of that. <laughs> yeah, there's no way this is going to be misused. Do we have one of their videos? We do. Hey, what's up? It's me, Katie, your Lyft Plus driver. Girls got to stick together. Hop in. Beep, beep. I'm Carolina Cream Pie. I'm Zoe. I'm giving her a ride. Lyft Plus. It's safer for women. Plus is not responsible for torture, dismemberment, or murder. I think it's good. I yeah. Mean, it does seem safer for women. How, how unsafe was Lyft that I'm not aware of that they had to do this? Like, what? I thought you had to do a background check to be a driver. What's going on? That's a good point. What were they covering a, up? You don't have to have a background. No, I signed, up, I signed up as a Lyft <laughs> driver once in LA. I just had to go to Pep Boys. <laughs> really? Really? Wait 48 hours. That was it. My wife was the one who didn't would never let me do it, though. The, oh, really? Yeah. Well, never she, didn't? she just didn't want to let other people in the car. No, she didn't want you having having sweet <laughs> random sex with all the riders. That's true. You're a savage. Yeah. Either that or but what were they covering up? There's been a lot I of assaults and no. attacks. Well, in New York there was, but they literally were all black Toyotas. So the number of people that would get into a black Toyota at random and then just killed was pretty often. Just the black ones? Huh? No, just the black Toyotas, yeah. The oh. white Toyotas were fine. <laughs> oh. Well, now aren't the drivers the target now? You, you just have you have an app that's just like, hey, I want a woman driver. Nobody caught that. We did. It we was just caught. moved on. <laughs> Not over here. Just moved on. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, just, like a lot of vans come and they just get in the back and they're yeah, like, well, just, people just stop shady. In. Like, don't worry, I'll bring you where you need to go. It'll be fine. Well, I had a friend who had to pick up a female comic he was opening for, and then he drives to the airport, can't find her. Uh, he calls her on the phone because he has her number, and he's like, oh, you're my writer? And then, and then she goes, well, who the hell are you? And starts screaming at a guy. And then she she had to be, he made her pull him pull over, and then he picked her up on the side of the freeway. Just some dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I have to blame the comic on that one. Yeah, yeah no, you, no. Diligence. If, yeah, you knew, if you knew her, you would, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just, where, where do you live? I live in uh, Long Beach, California. Okay, so yeah, you got a lot of that going on right there. A lot of, uh, a lot of friend. I think that this is really going to thrive where I live. Yeah, it's going to work out <laughs> very well. It's everybody over there. It's, it's a lot of action going on there. Yeah, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of people that are, are fluid. And which I'm okay with all that. The biggest problem where I live is that they just won't pick up the dog shit on the sidewalks. It's not they dog don't shit. They don't pick up the human beings on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a parking space in Long Beach one time, and I'm like, I spotted one. I go to pull in, and there's just a guy laying there dead in 92-degree weather. And I'm like, is somebody going to do something? And I was like, well, he's still got a couple minutes on the meter, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you really could have just parked on top. Yeah, I could have. As long as it wasn't... Uh, a dog. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's fine there. It's sad. But yeah, you no you want to and you want to help them, and they're like, no, we don't do that here. Yeah, they're like, we don't show. We'll we'll pick up a possum. <laughs> we have all star homeless fools down there. You like do. they said, all the other yeah. cities. That's what, all their like like homelessness is in Long Beach is kind of like the way comedy is in like Austin, New York, or or, te or or in L.A. Where if you know you're really good at it, that's where you go to do it. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. You know, I have all the all stars. There's one guy in my neighborhood. This guy just walks around yelling at, like yelling, like he's in a constant battle. And I just want to put a Fitbit on this kid because he is just on the move. I want to see how many miles. I, I, it doesn't matter what time I get home, what time I wake up. I go outside. This dude is blazing by me at top speeds. I just want to get a little Fitbit and get a little map, see where he's walk. I got to figure out something I can give him as a gift. I don't know if you it's illegal or not. Him. Like they uh, do with like the big cats. You trank him and then you put a little thing on his ear. Okay, a little tag, and like the dolphins. Like, yeah. He's not going to notice. See where He's he goes. clearly doing some kind of drug. Yeah. That, would be a, that would be nice, though, if we did have fins as a human. That way you could just put that on the back and the right fin there. and then just keep moving. No one would know. Yeah. It's true. You just watch him. I'm guessing meth. This, this guy's an absolute savage. I don't know what's going on. I, just, I can't even 
Like, I think even if I, I was up, start running four to five miles a day, I still couldn't keep up with this kid. My guess is life worked out. <laughs> He's in shape, too. So, I mean, I don't know. It's a decent trade off. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of homeless people that are cut. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed that. I'm like, you look way better than me. Got a lot of extra time in there. Like, yeah, you're really working it out. Mm -hmm. yeah, who gives a shit about Ozempic? Just be homeless. Yeah, exactly. You got to run from all kinds Just of chin ups stuff. on like, like stuff trees. in your yeah. mind, stuff that's real. <laughs> Pit bulls, <laughs> bobbing and weaving dog shit. I mean, they have that dehydration like right before a bodybuilding contest. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the tan to go with it. Right, it's shredded. There's like that layer of dirt. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know if it's tan or dirt, but it still looks good. Mm. You're like, it looks pretty good. Yeah, the definition. It's popping. You're washing your balls in a drinking fountain on Venice Beach. <laughs> no one cares anymore. They cared 20 years ago. Now it's anymore. Just what the drinking fountain? They get paid. For. They get paid in California, right? Homeless, homeless people, people, they get like a stipend. They get phones. I know that. They get phones. I, I don't know. I haven't exactly done as much research, but I, I'll be honest. Oh, if comedy barber. keeps going so well, I'm probably going to be part of that program. <laughs> <laughs> seems to be working out. What's for your home club? Is it the? I, I've been. Since I just moved back to LA. Uh, I've been doing Long Beach Laugh Factory a lot. A good room. I love that room. I've heard it's great. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's, it's humongous, but one, it's great though. It's everybody's so friendly, and I've I've kind of felt like since I've been back there. Comedy just seems more friendly now. I don't know if it's because I'm funnier or just because people are just nicer and, and like comedy more because it's so much of, of the internet now. Well, people like comedy more. It is not the same. Yeah. No. No, 15 years ago, people, I think, hated it. Yeah, it wasn't a thing people were interested in. It wasn't cool. No, and there was absolutely... The clubs were empty. Mm -hmm. like the first 10 years we were at it, it was just like people trying to get people inside. Yeah. yeah. And now it's like, it's hip again. Strange. There was like that boom in the 80s. <laughs> now the people trying to get inside are actual comics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's supposed to. Get that, why would that, why get would that, that YouTuber be, off the stage. Why would it have that dip like that? Uh, I, I feel like there, it would, there would always be a, a thirst for entertainment and comedy. Well, it's cyclical. All these things are cyclical, you know? I'm going to go Google that. I'll be right back. Wrestling. <laughs> I feel like comedy really becomes like bigger in times when like times are hard and like shitty things are happening. Because people well, need something to laugh yeah. at. Yeah. It also became very cheesy in the 80s after a while. Like it was cool in the 70s with Carlin and Pryor, and then it got too big with the clubs. Mm -hmm. And then it became just jeans and a tie mm -hmm. and a jacket. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of just became dorky yeah mm -hmm. you said like 15 years ago it was still like that a little like bit there was a whole yeah i feel like still I, the, not... like dave Chappelle was was huge at the time and well we all it's like we also started in the midwest and there was also there was like a 80s hangover so to speak yeah and there were a lot of guys who started there and they never stopped and then they were like kind of bitter because they didn't make it. And it's like, you're in a bowling alley in Clinton Township, Michigan. Well, it paid no 50 food. bucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, we were there for that reason. Food. We were like, can you believe we're making $60 tonight? Ooh. And then it's, it's, and the crowd hates us. <laughs> <laughs> I think Angela's right, though. Like right now, there's a lot of like oppression from culture that makes people want to have that release that. Yeah, release and see somebody say something that is not normal. Just bring attention to the fact yeah. that like shit's crazy. Yeah, I also think the internet and TikTok and just reels in general of stand up and crowd work. I opened for um a, a few months back. I was in Phoenix at Mike Drop Comedy Club in Chandler, mm -hmm. and I opened for Nate Jackson. Don't know, and uh, don't he's know a crowd work. You know, he he he's been you know he's been game for twenty years. He's not a, typically a crowd work guy. He's, you know, great material. But now he's blown up through crowd work. And the entire place came to get roasted. People mm. were in shit like that. They want, you could tell. And they just come to, they want to get lit up. It's complete opposite of what it used to be. Before People no one terrified, is, yeah. Yeah, now they're like wearing things that hopefully the comic will clown on. Yeah, they don't want to. Yeah, used to not want to sit up front, and now people will literally wear a shirt yeah. or draw attention or say, "This is mm -hmm. my husband." Will you say something to him? It's an entirely different game. Some people don't want to be, and they're nervous, and you can spot it. But it, for the most part, they want to be part of it, which can be problematic if you're up there doing material, because yeah, then you have people yeah. yelling like, "I do want to be part of the show," and it's difficult for a lot of comics yeah. who are like trying to just do straight material. Thank you for looking right at me when you said I that. I didn't mean to actually corner you, but there, I guess. That was a Freudian glance. <laughs>
We'll be right back on the big word, the big word show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian. Yeah, should have told me to look up some big words before I got here. I would have started relaxing. In this. I'm sorry. I would. I should have made a note that not in the notes anywhere in California. <laughs> Forty-one pages. I don't have anything over three syllables this here, thick. guys. <laughs> Personally, in my out repertoire, is that, is that, does that count? Oh, that's one of them. I'll Ooh. take it. You said repertoire. That's mine. That's all I, I got. Said, hey, don't Surprise. you sell yourself uh, short, Sean. <laughs> Well, let's talk about this. Speaking of amazing performers, right? Mm. Neil Young. Who? You guys know him from Crosby, Stills, and Nash and having eyebrows. Neil Young returns to Spotify four years after leaving (laughs) because of Joe Rogan's vaccine comments. He now blames misinformation. Oh, well. Wait, like he followed misinformation? No. Uh, He was lied to. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, like a lot of people were like now we were... that COVID's a 24-hour flu. Right. Um, in 2022, Neil Young told Spotify to remove his hits comp- uh, compilation uh, that because Joe Rogan was spreading misinformation. Right, right, right. Now it turns out it may have been others that were spreading it. Oh, man, like everybody told him? Yeah. Young said that's and I've seen him live. He's, he's good. Is he? Not going to lie, but I just, uh, he's kind of a douche. Young... Uh, Young said Spotify represented 60% of his streaming revenue globally, which is almost $100, which amounted to a huge (laughs) loss for his company to absorb. But he removed his music because he could not continue to support Spotify's life-threatening misinformation Mm. to the music-loving public. They can have Rogan or Young, not both, Young wrote at the time. I don't remember which one they chose. (laughs) But now after it, who's going to make us more money? Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) The guy we just paid $150 million. But now after a two-year hiatus, Young says other music streaming services like Apple and Amazon have started serving the same disinformation (laughs) podcast features he had when he opposed to Spotify. So Young said since he can't leave Apple or Amazon, how could you, right? Why? Uh, Because my music would have very little streaming outlets then and to music lovers so i have returned to spotify in sincere hopes that the spotify sound quality and now it's about sound, right. sound quality will improve and that people will be able to hear and feel all the music as we made it man he didn't is, even backtrack he is didn't david backtrack. crosby still alive yeah is he? is he i would assume oh he's believe, thinner now isn't he i believe so yeah it's for a minute yeah he yeah like hiv no, he look, he look, yeah, like H.I.V. Thin. But for a minute, he looked like fucking Ben Franklin. Oh. Mixed with a Gallagher. Oh. He was very... I always mistook, mistook him for Bruce Baum. That's it. The comic. <laughs> I couldn't that. think of the name. He very overweight. I thought, I thought one, one boost and he was going to be dead. Anyway. It's I think he was snorting moment. ivermectin. That's how he survived. <laughs> you mix that in there with a little Fetty. <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit of a Colombian bam bam. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're mm. you're back on Spotify. Right. Are Stills and Nash a wrestling duo still? <laughs> I also I bet the front office over at Spotify is pumped. Oh, and oh, yeah. this was like oh. they were. I remember they were, it was just chaos in the studio. Whenever he, yeah, whenever for, he took himself off there. I bet for two years they're like, how are we going to pay Rogan? What are we going to do? Is Neil Young going to come back and bitch about Starbucks in a song? <laughs> <laughs> Old man, yeah. take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you. Are, you. are you a good karaoke guy? Oh, you bet. You you sound like you could kill it at karaoke. Yeah, I do all right. You get in? Yeah, I can do all right. Mm. I believe it. I think God like. I was gonna say, what's your go-to karaoke song? It depends. It depends on the mood. I can do Elvis in the ghetto. That's Ooh, a, it's a preference. Ghetto. Oh wow, You'll it's be a real a woman. Yeah. Is it uh, candy well, liquor? Neil, yeah, candy <laughs> liquor, girl. I will lift you up. <laughs> That song I'll is so good. Down. Just let me try. Just let me try. Let me try. Come on, I know y'all do it. I used to do I Let's Don't try. Care Anymore by Phil Collins, but once I wasn't in a shitty relationship, I couldn't sell it anymore. Oh, you just didn't have the heart. No. People like, this yeah. guy really means it. <laughs> like, he's either the king of karaoke or he just hates women. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Liquor is the best song ever. So good. If you've never heard Marvin Cease's Candy Liquor, it's honestly one of the greatest hits of all time. Yeah. Just put it on. 
It's 10 minutes. Yeah. Let your lady listen to it. Like let a family a, get together. Light a couple candles. Yeah, mm. it's good for the family. Yeah. That's what's the thing. Is Thanksgiving it, dinner, you turn it on. Brings joy to everyone. Yeah. It's about candy. Yeah, it's about candy and licking it <laughs> until it comes. <laughs> That's well, the candy, can, that's come the candy side of the room. This is the meat side of the room. Yeah. You guys prefer meat? Yeah. Big smoke meat guy. Um, <laughs> you guys prefer this, this like content. He has a I'm YouTube gonna... channel about it. Yeah, you prefer that. <laughs> I was smoking pork belly all weekend. <laughs> Candied pork belly? Yeah, actually, yeah. If you have, oh. like, you know, on the second on the second smoke, yes, definitely. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Well, that's nice. You guess you guys are big. You guys like Marvin really? Cease's pork belly? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to eat your pork belly. <laughs> Rub it down. <laughs> I'll eat you up. I will suck you down. <laughs> Turn around. Come on, baby. <laughs> it's a rusty trombone. Can. Ooh. Boo. Ooh. Boo, boo. That's him playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have the footage. Can we go to that? <laughs> Cut in right now. The rusty trombone is the funniest. Anyway. Oh. Funniest position I pay for. <laughs> <laughs> Next, on conservative radio, the rusty trombones. Yes, we do have the footage. We just never roll it. Yeah, it's, uh, it is there. It's, oh, I got the job. <laughs> what I'm saying is that man had rights. <laughs> Can we play candy liquor? I don't. Who's gonna jump in from the Marvin Cease estate? <laughs> <laughs> is that like Motown or something? They don't they, they don't exist anymore. I don't think. Yeah, I mean Motown's way gone. I don't think yeah. it was Motown, but it was definitely grown folk music. Was How many degrees of separation does that have to go through to get back? To Who this owns state? the rights? <laughs> Somebody watching this show. Who owns and the rights? Do you imagine that game of telephone? I can't imagine like <laughs> the Marvin Cease estate where it's grown folk music. I want to play the song just so we could find out. Yeah, who owns it? Yeah, because they'll hit us, and then we can look at who owns it. I think his, gr his grandson, Leroy Cease, who's got a, a jerry curl. <laughs> his nephew, Kyle, who's a motivational speaker now. This is where the strike. <laughs> so this is from the Lionel Richie era as well, you know? Yeah. You got to see the picture, too. It's a great picture. It's the era of music where it was grown folk music where you would have, like, separate CDs for when, like, all the kids would go to bed. Yeah. And then you had Unlock these it. where it's like, it's really like Rudy Ray Moore came from. Look at that. This guy. This guy's oh, telling you he's Eric. My buddy. It's a personality. Yes, man yeah. out there. It looks like an AI uh, what you do it? interview. The Eddie Murphy vampire movie. It does. <laughs> it does. Vampire in Brooklyn. Yeah. It totally looks yeah. like. Oh, yeah. My buddy owns a bar and like it starts very calm and smooth, but then it just gets like filthy. And like it's like, yeah. Jody going to make you. And it's. Uh, <laughs> You're like, I'm going to turn this back yeah, around. Like Jody is. Uh, Lick you down. It, Jody is a guy who has who sleeps with women while their husband's off at war. Like he gets weirdly like. Specific. Specific. specific and into slang, <laughs> yeah. but he'll play it at his bar during like the dinner rush. <laughs> Once it gets real dirty, he'll just shut it off and then play we'll something turn else. It up. And then they'll be like, people looking around like, did that say? He'd be like, what do you mean? The four tops? I was just playing. I don't think that was that. You know, <laughs> he said a lot of perverted, a lot of perverted stuff. But at least it was harmonic. You know, it was. Now they're just Melody. yelling it out. Put it in my butt. Here we go. It's like now at least there's no. They've taken away the music aspect of it. It's true. Yeah. Like he's not dressed as the devil like Sam Smith and just ruining everybody's mm -hmm. night. He's trying to make you happy. He's trying to make your night better. Yeah, yeah. he's, yeah. Trying, he's, he's bringing trying, couples together. He's telling you to go home and make love to a woman, not six guys. <laughs> In a, what has happened to our society? You know what? Sorry. In a pentagram? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This, is, this is all about love between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The old-fashioned way. And he's trying yeah. to say, at a time where doing that particular act was not favorable in that community, he's trying to say, he, he opens by him going, I ain't ashamed no more. Yeah. He's <laughs> That's what he's saying. You, you dirty guys out there, I know you do it. Yeah, he's like, I'm not ashamed. Mm -hmm. We're all doing it. You know? He's like, I'll ruin these sheets. Do you remember the Louis C.K. story where Joe Pesci told Speaking him to never do that? Yes. <laughs> Not today. Sell it, though. The audience might. Because uh, you don't want to debase yourself to your woman like that. You, you don't, you don't want to be subservient to Oh, her. is that the... Yeah. It seems like such a, a short man thing. Yeah. <laughs> Like you don't want to do that to a girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did that, and I re I don't think it was that, Joe. Yeah, it's because you're four foot two. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I went down. Yeah, you don't want to do that. 
And so I was right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was next to my face. Yeah. I'll lick you up. I'll lick you down. I'll lick you down. Uh, I, I, that's a, I think it's Italian culture also. Eh? Like Uncle June, he, you know, Uncle yeah. June, look at that. He wanted to kill Tony Soprano for spreading the rumors that he went down on women. That's what I mean. Like yeah. even in the Italian community too, that was a huge thing. That's something you didn't do. The Italians are, and they are known. You said Italian community and black community. Yeah, like they're, they're actually. Yeah. And I, no offense, Garrett, and me for being Italian. Hey, whatever. Both of us. But they like salami. No. Are you, are you black? On the weekends. On the weekends? Oh, yes. Okay. That's what it's really I, I don't know what people yeah. are anymore. I say from the waist down. Yeah. I, I assume just your, your last name's like Irish. Uh, no, I'm my, um, that's my brother's dad's last name. I'm actually, my dad's Mexican. Okay. My mother's Italian, German, a few other things. Okay. But uh, I didn't know my real dad until I was 15. So, oh, yeah, really? one of them. So, you're a classic black. Gen X situation. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> oh, you as well? No, I said, oh, so you are black. Oh, I got you. <laughs> He's quarter. Yeah. How much are you? Are you just... Uh, I'm 0% black. 0%? You it's said exactly. that with great pride. Do you <laughs> absolutely that's so zero. Zero. That's <laughs> stolen valor, boys. Yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> You're just waiting for him to show up so you can figure it yeah. out. <laughs> waiting for another surprise. 23 and me, you haven't checked it out? <laughs> no. I'm too scared. Yeah, me too. Yeah. We talked about it yesterday. I don't want to get caught. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, bodies. 23 and me, you don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to. Under the basement? I'm told I'm They're so many that. things that I just don't they find out I'm something. Is it really that important? No. Yeah, What's exactly. the 23 me? We're all American. I feel like if you're an American, if you go back to any of your homelands, they yeah. hate you and call you American. Yeah. So like, what yeah. difference does it make? So just like, we're like the big ass island of like the misfit toys, but for real. Right. Like, we're, we're, stay there, bro. I just came here. Everybody's mixed together. That's just a thing white people do people. with both fingers crossed. Like, please, please tell me, I'm something. saying something. Give me yeah. something. It's tearing families apart. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. What, because, why? Because you get your like DNA test results back, and these women from like before that thought they were going to have secret affairs and no one was ever going to oh. find out that their children weren't actually like the father's children. It's a lot, a Damn. lot of the times it reveals that. I <laughs> know a lot, lot of grandmas like, have secrets. No. That's the thing. She's like, I'm taking oh, this yeah. to the grave. No one's ever going to know. And then. Wow. I've <laughs> seen some TikTok videos and stuff where guys are like in their eighties and they're like, now I know why these two rat bastard children were never <laughs> like me. And you're like, that's a terrible thing. That's saying a horrible you, thing. Thought your forty-eight-year-old kids were yours until ten minutes ago. Like, you still <laughs> raised them. You can't really blame another guy. That also happens in the like the uh, Native American. There's a lot of that. You know, like the Elizabeth Warren type thing, where somebody will say that they're Native American because their parents told them, and then they'll do a twenty-three and Me, and it's like, oh, zero. Z what? Well, I'm going to have to quit my job at the Native American Casino. outreach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, they get, what about all those uh, casino checks I get? Oh, crap. I feel like that's... Whenever I, I see confirm mine. Native American casino owners on billboards and such, mm. they look white. <laughs> you ever notice that? It's always like a, it's like a guy in a tracksuit wearing feathers. <laughs> it's like... It's like, I don't think that guy's Indian. He's got to be like a quarter, sorry, whatever the fuck. But it's like, you got to be like an eight, they're like an 18. Right, yeah. Like they got a 20. I think it's like 12% 12, 12 counts. Yeah. And you can get you can get uh, cash rebates and stuff from the government. Is and that real? It, yeah. 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 never too late to go back to college. I think I can technically do it because my family told me I'm. Well, that mustache says you're 14%. <laughs> in, in my poorly grown beard. If I find out that I'm Native, Native American 12%, I need to go to the casinos and get my money back. Let's go. Where's so my check? Solve a real problem. Let me get a $50,000 marker. Yes, yeah, 12%. <laughs> How much you need back? You're like, listen, man, a lot. <laughs> a lot. I thought this white stuff hasn't been working out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Switching teams. You know, they said that I was born uh, in an advantage, and uh, that changed along the way. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Anyway. Hey, speaking of music, we were talking about music. Yeah. Are you I a fan music. of Madonna? Oh, my goodness. Who isn't? Most people. Well. Um, Madonna. Tell uh, me about Madonna. Her. Uh, last Thursday at uh, one of Madonna's shows, uh, she was berating one of her fans at the show for not standing up during her performance. Do we have a clip of that? Yes. Let's show that clip. Here you go. Just ride with me. What are you doing sitting down over there? Uh, what are you doing sitting down? Oh, okay. 
politically incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm glad you're here. Oh, no. Yikes. Madonna then. Oh. Now, see, the man was in a wheelchair, obviously, yes. and uh, from the stage, she realized that she had been very mm -hmm. upset that he was not standing. Made a mistake. Uh, after that, she then said, you better not be faking it, or I promise <laughs> that you will never stand again. Uh, <laughs> after that, a mosh pit broke out around the man, paralyzing four other people. Oh. Those Madonna mosh pits are hardcore, dude. I, thought, I, I would have been great if she would have said, I've seen a lot of spinals, dude, and I'll tell you right now, that's a, I know a fake one when I see it. <laughs> she Get up from that chair right now. <laughs> She walked into the crowd and threw him onto his hands and knees <laughs> and began to check every single <laughs> word. I think she would have got out of it if she would have just said something like, oh, that's on me. My bad. Yeah. My bad. I didn't see that. That's Glad on you're me. here. Yeah. You, oh. you did a little chest oh. pat. What, that's on me? Yeah. Can, you can get out of that. Anything. That's my bad. It's on me. I'll get you out of jail. Or she should have been oh, like, get the ropes. Ah. And then just stood him up <laughs> like a prop. <laughs> and he's like, oh my God. Oh yeah, get him some strings. Yeah. And brought him like, around like an angel. Like Sandy, right up to the okay. stage and had him crowd surf. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like he's all all the wheels, the now. obviously. Flap, super... Flapping around. <laughs> At the end of the show? Way too early. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love Madonna though. They're on top of it, man. <laughs> so early, 100 episodes. Yeah, and uh, still <laughs> Swiss watch. <laughs> <laughs> Well-oiled oh, machine mm. over here. <laughs> Check the be more abusive. <laughs> That's how you run a show. It's it seems to work. I, we uh, should have known. Honestly, we, we all should have known. known. I don't know how we missed that part. She then looked at another concert girl and said, why aren't you standing? And he said, I just don't like you. <laughs> and she said, you're a grump. Did you ever see the clip when somebody gave Madonna flowers and she didn't like them because they were hydrangeas? She's like, I hate hy I don't know what a hydrangea is. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I wish I this did. show, I know you know it. It's the big word show. Her face is a dehydrangea. <laughs> Have you seen... Oh, she looks like a gourd. Yeah, like she's like a gourd that's been sitting out too long. You know, like yeah. a pumpkin that just like a pumpkin in December. You know. Yeah, she. It's like it's Lark. Right. She looks like Lark Voorhees. Yeah, but like somebody threw paint at it. Something like Geiger would have drawn for aliens. Yeah, like even it's Marvin right. Cease wouldn't eat it. No, she kind of has that look of the garbage pail kids from the movie. Yeah. Yeah. All puffy and it doesn't move. Yeah, like it's a box office failure oh. because nobody wants to look. Mm. Oh my ah. God. <laughs> On the left, though, I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's what it heavily used to be. face tuned and stuff. This what is, is that? Why? Little, like, that happening? can't be real anymore, right? That's, it looks like that thing they found in uh, Mexico that they said was an alien. <laughs> that, that's a, yeah, that's a little Harkonnen in current Dune. <laughs> a Montauk monster. That is disgusting. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't. That's why they invented for doggy the style. That's why. That's why doggy style was invented. <laughs> mm. I mean, she still does Pilates and all that. So yeah, yeah well, I'm sure. I still celebrate her whole collection. Just for the record, I do too. I discography I, is great. I really I do enjoyed her. Madonna Mondays in my truck. Oh, good for you. Only listen to Madonna in my truck on Mondays. Mm. Are they manic? Well, it's very manic. That's why I always start off. I wish you yeah. did it on Sunday. <laughs> That's my That's fun, my fun day. day. <laughs> But you always do it on Monday. Always. Oh. You guys always have material. I don't boys. know. Boys. <laughs> well, well, boys enjoy. Yeah, but what about those material girls? Look, girls just want to have fun. They do. I've seen you love her. I know who it is. cherish that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm aware. Her and her goofy Crazy skin. hair. <laughs> her and her psoriasis. I went and saw Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Oh my God! I just said that out loud. I went and saw <laughs> alone. I'll we'll be right back, guys. After this, listen. Me and my boyfriend went and saw Cindy Lauper. <laughs> you guys take a, a Lyft Plus to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we wanted to be safe, <laughs> so we invited the the driver as well. It turned out to be another man. Yeah. And uh, we went to the Tony, concert. His name. And uh, it was Cindy Lauper and Rod Stewart. Ooh. And I didn't know. Okay. Like I'd Did never you tell seen them <laughs> Yeah, and I well, I well, I'd never seen Rod Stewart, and I was like, "This is gonna be interesting," because I'll go to like any show. Cindy Lauper, I was like, "Yeah, all right, okay." And then Rod Stewart came out, and I was like, "This dude's amazing." Still amazing. Wow. 
I, I did not expect anything, and it was one of the best shows. Like, yeah. dude really put on a hell of a show. Not expected. And, like, it was song after song, I was like, this is him? This is him? And with her, it was just like, oh, I'm Sir Roses. Oh. <laughs> That's her in-between oh, material. <laughs> this is, I shouldn't be doing this. And then he came out, and it was like, and I kind of wanted to see her, because I used to, you know, listen to Time After Time on okay. Ecstasy. So it was the main reason I went. Yeah. But, but it was uh, not, not. Not the best. Not that I have anything against her. It was just not, you know. Okay. But Rod Stewart, it was good, Matt. I know you've never been to a concert. No. You've never been to a concert? No. Mm. Your whole life, never one? No. No, my dad would have thought I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> this boy likes to go watch live music? <laughs> it's fine. Not in my house! Pretty sure you, knew, you knew my father. You can confirm that. I can confirm that. <laughs> my dad thought I was. <laughs> You're going to Cindy Lauper concert? No, I mean I went to a lot. I mean, I, look, I've been to Wu Tang. You go to yeah, you go to a lot of concerts. every concert imaginable of it. I like such a broad amount of music. No, my dad didn't think I was gay. He was just worried. Um, there was, was a question. Was, he was like, there were times where I thought he'd hit me. Huh? What? Uh, my dad was worried, but not about my sexuality. <laughs> Or if, if you were going to find a gun and take it to school. <laughs> That's why they gave one of them away. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's a true story. That's actually. Yeah. It's like, ah, I think Matt's got the second Columbine happen. Wow. They're like, we you need to tell, get one of these. Meet, like, get rid of these. <laughs> he meets the blink requirements. He blinks half as much as everybody else. <laughs> Notice that. I'm like, this kid could have a pistol on him. He don't blink enough. I blink too much. I'm clearly not a threat. <laughs> I have a lazy eye. We're good. Yeah, every time he comes here, I give him candy. Oh, so, make him, like, so he'd pass me over. He's got a, yeah, his eyes are a dead stare enough to yeah. get rid of a gun. His <laughs> eyes are a little off enough to where they think you should have one. <laughs> hey, give him one of your extra one, guns. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What kind this of music is, This is one you? pass you? driving test right yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you two combined. Together. <laughs> You two combined can work an automatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's your what's your brand of music, my friend? Uh nineties, man. Nineties hip hop, nineties yeah. country. I, you know, I'll go from George Strait to Bob Marley, which is a nineties, but still I get what you uh, mean though. You know, Certainly like, right popular. Wu Tang, yeah. you know, Snoop, a lot of West Coast OG stuff. Anything after I mean it's pretty you know, especially country wise, after two thousand, there's a few tracks I'm okay. But what about like Ryan Bingham, Jason Isbell, Drive By Truckers? None of them don't have uh, a clue. Okay, like because I love that stuff. Like uh, Sturgill Simpson. Um, I don't know if I'd call that country. I guess is I mean as much as modern country, like modern sounds. You know, like it's more. I don't know if it's necessarily what you'd call country. It's you know, like pop country. country. I don't kind know. Country oh, well. eh, I always think pop country is a little more like. Rascal well, one of my flats. things is like classical flats. Yeah. yeah, that's pop country. I'm such like an '80s music buff, and a lot of those people still make music in that style. But the modern production is part of what I don't like about their new stuff. It's all digital. Yeah, exactly. I don't like the digital yeah, sound. Too cool. Yeah. You want a guitar? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, give me some raw metal sap. You know what I, I want? Mean? A Moog yeah. synthesizer. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah. Well, I love the. I mean, the '90s were so great because of the rap war. Yeah. So you actually got to watch people get killed in real time, and you were like, oh, they're serious about yeah. this. Because like, lyrics are not fake. They were just yelling at each other from their phones across the country. No. <laughs> Empty threats. They're like, these dudes bought plane tickets and flew out to shoot out each other. Dude. <laughs> yeah, like, like, that's what I want. That's the real deal. No, that was amazing. This wasn't just face tattoos and ODing on pills. <laughs> I like when they sold them, not took them, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was true. They sold the drugs back then. Now they're taking the weird Oh, yeah. Drugs. They were like, you get, you don't get high on your own supply. Now they just yeah. have a supply they get high on. Yeah. <laughs> and the music sounds like moaning. Yeah, they, they, the word, you know, words actually coming out and fully and being said properly, that's that's overrated, man. Yeah, yeah you don't want there to be. Articulation? Yeah, come on. That's Is what I was looking for, see? No, you, why sing Brenda had a baby when you can just put blood into a Nike? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and have sex with the devil. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, all you got to do. That's Obvious. What's your, I mean, Angela, you like a ton of different music, too. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. You and I have shared the... Oh, man, like anything from like 60s, like Sam Cooke, Otis Redding, oh. that kind of stuff. I love. Sam Cooke's great. Um, I like like 90s kind yeah, of we've grunge, discussed, punk music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Motown, indie, punk. Yeah. Yep. Everything. 
I grew up. My dad was really into like uh, soul music in the '60s. His, his yeah, age and your group, dad's he's in a little 70s. older, and yeah, that's what my 70s. dad was, and it was the same. I those are bangers. Yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. No, there's really like, oh man, seven '60s and '70s like soul and Motown and yeah, like Otis Redding. All that is just so good. The focus was also much stronger, right? Like now there's 17,000 things to also do. Before, you just could just do drugs and sit in your house and play music with your buddies. Yeah. Like there yeah. was, no, was no other distractions. You, you know, you, Stevie Ray Vaughan didn't have a phone on him. He was right. just sitting there just jamming this thing. That's why he's so good. 12 hours a day. Well, he was also creating his art without wanting instant feedback of if it was good. It was mm -hmm. just, this is my art. Maybe one day it'll hit. Mm -hmm. As opposed to trying to follow a trend. Yeah. I, mean, like, I don't think Marvin Gaye, well, I mean, he got shot by his father, but I mean, that was after a whole crack binge, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like when he was- Food in, problems. Yeah. But it's like when you're singing What's Going On and all that stuff, which is like, you know, it's one of my favorite albums ever. It's, uh, there's just something so amazing to it and it speaks to the time and it's, 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 it's just reverent and it's, it's something that I don't know. I just don't see a lot of anymore. You could still find it. It's just harder to find. You it's have out to there. Go, yes. You go find it. Yeah. Well, I like uh, recently um, is uh, Oliver Anthony. Obviously, he's rich, uh, rich man from Richmond, but he has other great songs that aren't right. Yeah, yeah. You know that are incredible, and you're not getting groundbreaking lyrics, but it's just great and it's heartfelt and it's you know his voice is incredible, and you yeah. can just tell this dude. Is singing from his heart, and I love you know, and it's, it's all Virginia or ninety some Chevy. You know, these songs are so great. I'm uh, so I, I like the little blast on the past feel from him. Agree, and it it struck a chord because you could tell he meant it. it right now, the chat's going. Oliver Anthony's a psyop. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> he doesn't think Taiwan like, is a place. To what end? <laughs> you know? Yeah, Taiwan is also not a place. Well, yeah, anybody that like. I love how anybody that they say comes out of nowhere, and it's like, yeah, the guy's know, got a yeah. backlog for 10 years. He just, yeah. it's overnight success. No, it's not. Yeah. He worked really hard. <laughs> Sigh up. I mean, people no. talk about, the only thing I don't get about Taylor Swift mm -hmm. is why she dresses like a figure skater. Other than that, <laughs> I understand that she's very popular. It's just the outfit. Yeah. Otherwise, I get it. People like the music. She's very popular. I understand oh, people sure. think she's a sigh up, whatever. But she's been popular forever. But she's been around a long 20 time. Twenty years so, since I've been in middle school. Yes, right. Yeah. So it's yeah. like I understand that it's gonna be somebody who's popular. I'm surprised that she's still popular because like all think about all the the artists that were popular back then when she was popular in the the beginning, like Lady Gaga, maybe. Lady Gaga yeah. is still popular, but she did take a picture with Dylan Mulvaney, I guess, oh, I saw which that. greatly upset people. Ugh. Almost as I disgusting love that. as her picture with Bradley Cooper. Ugh. It's like you oh, can put no. your, you have like this life work that's they incredible. Bang. You do all this hard work to be such a, you know, you know, somebody that's so incredible what you do, but one photo and it's like, it just erases everything. You're like, what are we doing here, dude? Who, who cares, it's man? Like, it's like not even a, something that's like a slip up on your end. It's just like, what's she supposed to do when this yeah. guy asks for a photo? No, I'm sorry. I want to keep that. I think that was career. a photo like, shoot. Yeah. Oh, was Either it? Either way, though, it's like, but whatever. It's a photo with somebody else. Like, worry about, like worry somebody about you probably didn't even like in the first place, Lady Gaga. Yeah, Why I, that rage that I just love the with somebody else you don't like. Some guy, like what? She she what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God! What? <laughs> Lady Gaga? No. Can you imagine if he was yeah, like tearing was, down his poster? Was a, <laughs> a diehard fan until that moment? <laughs> right. He's like sitting there listening to Poker Face and sees that picture. Pa 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 I named my son Alejandro because of you. <laughs> what? Now you're going to do this to me? So, so some guy in the country. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> it's like some dude in the middle of like Mississippi. He's like, you ain't going to believe. You know that that Jewish girl I love who's, who Lady sings Gaga. all the trans songs? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who comes out like Lady Strange? Yeah. Who wears the meat dresses? She took a picture yeah, with Dylan Mulvaney. You're cooking. Who ruined my beer. <laughs> Get her off Spotify <laughs> right now. Neil take, Young, back uh, on. Take down all my paintings I did of her and her perfect nose. He seems like a psyop, though. <laughs> that, that one I'll give you. That one is a psyop. He is. There's no he, way they just put out a music no, video. Today. No one comes out of left field like that. Dude, did you see the music video? I didn't. I heard no. you listen to it. It is the most awful thing, and I want to. Yes. I heard you just go. We're sitting there, oh, and really? you just go. Oh God. 
Dude, I want to talk oh. to Bridget about it tomorrow, but if you want to play a second I have of it, some of it yeah. oh, I was trying to avoid it. Is it is the most awful. Oh, it's just enough already. This is a psyop. Yeah, it's just enough already. I don't know what's behind her. She's it. He. Well, I don't know. I don't care anymore. It, whatever it is, is singing about being a girl. Okay, 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 okay. So these are the days. These, these are, are the days of girlhood sang by... Uh, uh, she's got shoulders like Steve Nash. <laughs> Dude. Actually, I heard that Dylan Mulvaney has a sweet crossover as well. That's kind of <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a sweet crossover. That, yeah. <laughs> but, I just good. And I said she. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, it, the, dude. People got mad at me last week because I was saying she. While For you're who? making fun, while you're There's making fun of a hundred comments, <laughs> like why are you calling her a she? And it's For like who? Because I'm on YouTube, dumbass. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get the show <laughs> down. So much, so much stuff bothers. Like, what are we doing here, man? Just it, it's like I don't know because I'm for some reason you're a nice guy. Yeah, the powers that be want me to like, and I what 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 good do I get out of calling? Well, you have to be sufficiently. We all know. You have to be sufficiently based for a default avatar. Right. Like I don't care about that. It's a. It, I listen to that song. I. Oh God. That's what I care about. I care about My that. That should not be hurt. singing. Yes. <laughs> like that should not. Why would you? Like, hey, look, you've already annoyed the shit out of everybody for the last four years. <laughs> I'd like to know that. Can budget. you stop, please? It's got to be. Do you a, think that that she busted that cash up for herself for that oh, no. video? No. Is that a? No. Is that a no, 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 no. The that's BlackRock. It's the CIA be. paid for that. Oh, yeah. CIA right Please. away. More like they, they went down, did one more run, picked up a few more keys of cocaine. And f yeah. yeah. Well, so white, so white too. Let's talk about this before it gets to the end of the show. I do want to thank you very much, both of you, for yeah, joining you. us. And again, where can we find you, my friend, Sean? Uh, Sean Latham, across the board on all social media, S-H-A-U-N-L-A-T-H-A-M, or $20 Chef as well, two zero dollar spell out dollar right chef. Right there. And on there it is right screen. there. All that right there. And also Matt? Uh, at Matt McClowry at everything. And uh, I'll be at uh, the corner in Orlando at the end of this month. Exactly which corner? Uh, is I don't know. It's the don't name know of which it. one to roll up on. <laughs> <laughs> if you're uh, if you're homeless in Florida, you better yeah, keep your exactly. head on a swivel now. It ain't, it ain't, I'm messing ball game. And I'll Where's be with Dave rough? in Tacoma and Spokane. You want to get cartel taken out at a corner where they just shoot you <laughs> on a motorcycle on a crotch, crotch rocket? It I'm went about it. that well last time there. Did it? Yeah, that room doesn't like me. Oh. Uh, we do have to talk about this ad though. It's very important. Actually, it's a friend of mine. Eric July, friend of the show. He's been on the show. Eric July has released his third campaign, Yara. Uh, I believe they've already passed a million. I it's think they're Yara. At like Yara. Whatever. He knows it's weird. Uh, <laughs> this is our third campaign, multi million dollars at this point. Uh, it's going to do great. Go check it out. He genuinely cares about the comic book industry and the whole culture around that and trying to provide stories that aren't whatever the mainstream does because they're. They're changing all the characters and the ladies or lady boys or whatever it is. It's not Spider Man anymore. It's Thailand Forget Man. This. Exactly. <laughs> so, Yaira, <laughs> check it out. Ripaverse.com slash Yaira. Nice. Can we go out on Hungry Eyes or no? Oh, yeah. Hungry Eyes because oh. uh, Rip Eric Harmon, who sang that. Yeah. He wrote um, it. He wrote, he wrote he July wrote that? It. He wrote Hungry Eyes? Just wrote it. It's on page 37 of your notes here, sir. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Garrett doesn't read those. I believe he didn't read any of these. Those. Just look at it. I wrote the song Hungry Thighs. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote the song Hungry Eye. <laughs> oh. Hung Is that why it's always lurking? It's always oh. like looking for a snack. Looking for a Yeah. Snack. Oh, we do. Yeah. And one more, which is not on the screen, uh, is for... Uh, the very Texas versus Feds. Oh, Texas versus Feds. That's that right. Mean? I knew that one. T uh, this Thursday, oh, March fourteenth. I knew. Why would I say oh that? God. We're releasing our third installment in the Blaze original series, available only to Blaze TV Plus subscribers. I feel like we shouldn't have said the plus. Texas versus the Feds. Plus what? Uh, yeah. Uh, was it? 
I think it's just Why do any of these services add the plus? I don't get it. I don't know. Disney Plus for a reason. How the elites use the border crisis against us. Join Jason Buttrill and... <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Together. Oh, I know, Jason. Oh, yeah. I like him a lot. <laughs> Why did I say that funny? This is actually a really good one. I watched part of this. He's a good dude. I did a, a thing, show with him last week. Join Jason Buttrill and the Blaze Originals team on the road trip with <laughs> <laughs> Take Our Border Back. Uh, you might want to close your ears, Sean. Okay. Convey to the front line of the border crisis as they uncover what was really happening during Governor Greg Abbott's fight against federal agents, our team reveals the story of the mainstream media that you want to know. Go to therealbordercrisis.com and use code BORDER to get $30 off your Blaze TV Plus subscription. Serious business, and they shouldn't have asked us to do it because we're not serious. No. But I do think if you want to know, it looks uh, it looks really interesting. Texas is popular, you know. Six thousand people a day are moving here. Oh, ooh, it's because of the Tex Mex. It's because well, the food they have good. the food down there. But it's also because <laughs> they're building new pizza huts. A lot of barbecue down here, boys. It's great. Barbecue. Worth the run. It's really, the bar. Worth the run. I'm telling you, yeah, dude. Right now, it's delightful. What the caravans are for? Yeah, they're all just coming up here just to get that finger licking ribs. Dude. It's good ribs and brisket. Mm-hmm. Brisket is fine. You cut it with a spoon. Ooh. You don't even need a spoon. Don't even. Uh, mm. Just, just falls apart. Just pick it up and dunk it in your you mouth. You need to stop advertising for Texas. Too many people are coming here already. Yeah. I'm talking about the Californians. Yeah, this place is terrible. Yeah. We just horrible. say it like that. Horrible. Horrible place. Horrible place. Thing but tumbleweeds and graves. Shallow graves. We're getting shot all the time. So sorry. Eric Carmen did sing that song. Yep. Oh, he did? I know he did. I'm well, so sorry. I, I, it's fine that yeah. you want to correct me. Nobody cares. I think if te- if Texas, they usually won't make weed make legal because then it's too perfect, right? Then you guys are just absolute utopia down here. Yeah. Oh, dude. Outside of the whole electrical saying. grid thing, outside of the grid. We're, we're good with having it on the DL, okay? We don't need it to be legal. I have to understand. It's kind of so tough to get your hands on some. some yeah. Things. Hello, Hello, there, here, now you got to drive. You got to know a guy. I'm not saying I flew with two pounds and I'm going to be out front of the Blaze Studios selling Ace <laughs> at a discount <laughs> no. price, but I'm just saying. Trust me, it's not like you have to drive into Oklahoma, jam it in your anus, and drive it back <laughs> anymore. <laughs> there were balloons for this show. <laughs> there, oh, there just were. Not visible. I just, I didn't like the color when I blew them up. <laughs> <laughs> Happy oh. hundred, y'all! Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's do some hundred episode whippets. All right, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> These are dirty whippets. Oh, I miss whippets. Oh. Aren't those fun? It's always fun to stop at like a smoke shop on from one bar to the other bar on a Sunday after you've had like 19 cocktails already. And then just then just do whippets for whatever reason and then yeah. just keep it moving. Oh, man, I miss those. Did you ever do the one? Did you get the cracker? Yeah, you get the, the cracker. cracker yeah. yeah. Oh, those were the days. Oh, did you, you never, never did, did whippets? no whippets? No. No, Angela? Um, Anguel? I'm going to plead the fifth <laughs> on that. Matt? Oh, of bother. course not. <laughs> Did you ever suck nitrous out of a whipped cream can? <laughs> no. What about cheese? You and I are about to have a good weekend. Oh. <laughs> ever do jank them? No. <laughs> oh, God. You ever shit in a bottle? Yeah. <laughs> sniff the, sniff Come on, the air never. that comes out? Come on, man. Never Animal nitrate poppers, yes, but no. <laughs> Did I ever do Liberace's favorite? <laughs> uh, I did wow. poppers just a few minutes ago. <laughs> it opens up the gap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sitting on a balloon right now and it's <laughs> not even popping. So I have to get pot in my hands. It's just totally unnecessary. Like a cop pulls you over. He's like, it's not even this illegal. <laughs> it's just a fine. Why would you jam this yeah, much? Yeah, why'd you do this? This is inconvenient for everybody here. This is just What's ticket? my problem? Man, here's your $30. You don't even have to go to court. That man had rights. <laughs> I'm just going to let you go. No, it doesn't. It didn't even ha- like I don't even want to touch this. I thought it'd be heroin. <laughs> you have marijuana. These are Advils. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ibuprofen. You're I good would- till the county line. Why would I care if you have Centrum Silver? Hair <laughs> <laughs> <Paris? laughs> 
So let me get this you straight. Smell like butt ass. <laughs> <laughs> this smell like butt ass. Is that airborne? <laughs> we bring you to the end of the world. <laughs> What type of handicapped person makes up most of Madonna's fan base? QB. Mentally. Fair. Angela. Men- mentally. Fair. Yeah. Sean. I'm going to go mentally. Fair. Yeah. Matt. Mentally. Fair. I'm going to say mentally. Okay. Good night.